good, beer fam? This is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Beats. Hey guys, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for another cooking video. And today we're gonna do an old favorite of mine, which I've had both in the States and overseas. This is called Beef Bagogi, which is nothing more than a Korean barbecue beef uh, marinated overnight. So we're gonna get started with this, but before I do, you know how I get down. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications so you know when a video comes out. By the way, that's every Friday. And let's get started with some beef bagogi. I wanted to show you this today, even though the video, I'm gonna film the rest of the video tomorrow, but I, I gotta marinate this, so. Um, in order to get your beef or your ribeye in small enough and thin enough slices, um, a good idea is to freeze it ahead of time because then it becomes very much easier to cut. You're gonna cut across the grain, not with the grain, because that'll make it tender. So we're just gonna, these are frozen pieces of ribeye, and I'm gonna cut these in about an eighth inch pieces. And this, this will enable you in order to get the ribeye very, very thin, as thin as you can get it. Because if it's not frozen, it's not gonna cut that way for you. Make sure you're using a sharp knife. Okay, guys. And then we're gonna simply just put this in a marinade. But that's just a little tip on how to cut your beef thin. See how thin I can get these slices? So that's just a little tip on how you can do it. So I wanted to show you guys what the marinade consists of. I, sometimes I don't do this, but I wanted to definitely do it to, to, for you this time. So it's a very simple marinade, quite a lot of ex ingredients, but we're going to go through this. So, um, And then all of the actual amounts will be left in the description below, so I'm not going to go through that now. But I got my handy dandy blender here, and I'm going to add everything to the blender, okay? So start with my soy sauce, and then we're going to go with some brown sugar. All right, and then we have some Asian pear. Asian pear helps marinate, so it's got a, a very special enzyme in it that makes it really marinate meat. So that's um, some Asian pear there. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon, or one, sorry, one, yeah, one teaspoon of minced ginger here. It's gonna be a hefty teaspoon. All right, and then we have our spring onions our green onions, however you want to say it. And then we have our garlic, our minced garlic. Yep, let me get it all out. There we go, sorry to get my arm in the way of the camera, guys. All right, and then we have our mirin. Mirin is basically a sweet, um, it's a cooking, basically just a, a sweet cooking rice vinegar, a wine. So we're gonna use a little bit of that, a teaspoon, a take, just a teaspoon. Then we're gonna use a teaspoon of pepper. Just regular household ground pepper. And then we're gonna do three tablespoons of sesame seed oil. There's one, two, and there's three and probably just a tad bit more. All right, let me discard some of this here, guys. And then we're gonna use two tablespoons, I think it's two tablespoons, it'll be in the description, of just raw honey. There we go. Like I said, all the descriptions, all of the actual amounts of the ingredients will be in the description below. So to this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna power up the, the blender here. I thought we were. Let me plug it in here. And we're just gonna blend it up. All right, guys, so there we have it. We got our meat here that I cut up a little bit earlier while it was frozen. So all we're gonna simply do is pour the marinade over top of it. 
Now I'm letting this sit overnight. That's why I'm doing it for you guys so early. But you don't have to let it sit overnight. You can let it sit for two hours. Two hours minimum, I would say. So we're just gonna simply pour the marinade over top. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. And I'm gonna mix it up here just a little bit. Let me grab a utensil. You're gonna mix it up just a tad. And we're gonna let that sit overnight and marinate, guys. So it's been in the, in the refrigerator overnight marinating in all of his juices. So here is the beef bulgogi. It doesn't necessarily look so appealing just as in the marinade, but believe me, it tastes delicious. And guys, I'm going to add some onions to this, and I'm going to add some, some fresh scallions here, both in there and also on, uh, as far as, you know, a topping just as a garnish. But anyway, guys, that's really all the ingredients. There's more to the presentation when it comes to showing what I'm going to, how you how you actually eat the, the um, beef bulgogi. But we'll get to that here at the end of the video. But it's a very simple recipe. As you see, the marinade that... You know the video that I did last night, but we're gonna get started with this. So I got my my Copper Chef Pro here, and you can pick that on my web, pick that up on my website, BigToneReviews.com. And I got my Copper Chef pot here, induction oven, great, I love it. Pick it up on BigToneReviews.com. The link will be in the description below for both of these products. Okay, guys. All right, so let's get started with this. Enough about me selling stuff. All right, so all we're going to simply do, I added a little bit of EVO to the pan here. I've gotten it hot. We're just going to take the beef bulgogi out of the marinade. We're going to include the marinade, so don't think we're not. But we're just going to put it in the pan here. Oh, my God. You see that, don't you? Smoking hot. Smoking hot. Be careful not to overcrowd the pan. Not close there. All right, guys, so simple as that. Putting my beef bulgogi in here, and we're just gonna simply cook this down. We don't wanna overcook it, so you gotta watch it. The beef is very, very thin, so it doesn't take long. So it usually takes about three, four, four minutes or so. And um, we'll be back, and I'll, I'll do my other batch here. We'll show you the rest of it. I told you the beef bulgogi does not take long at all to cook. You're usually gonna have about six, maybe 10 minutes total. Um, you know, you don't want to overcook this, so if you like your beef to be medium, it's going to be yeah, medium rare, so it's going to cook very quickly. But guys, here it is. Here's the bulgogi. Cooked down. I added my onions and my, my fresh onions there are mine. So, I mean, it's lovely. It's lovely. But there's two ways that we can present this. I've had it over rice, and I've had it on like a lettuce, lettuce leaf. Um, and you can do what you want to, but I'm going to show you how I do it here in just a second, okay, guys? Guys, so we're back here with a finished product, guys. This is unbelievable. This is perfection on a plate. Now, like I said, you can serve bulgogi two ways. At least that's what I've experienced. Um, I got some bulgogi over rice, and I have some bulgogi that's in the lettuce wrap. So on both of these, um, I like to finish with, this is the most impressive part about bulgogi, because it doesn't look very good. When you're cooking it, it looks like a bunch of mushy meat. But when you present, when you present this, I like to add a little bit of cucumber for a crunch. And then I add some fresh scallions here, and then I also have some um, cilantro. I don't think the cilantro is very traditional, but I like the flavor of it. And then I, I finish with a little sriracha. If you don't like heat, then you may not want to add this. And then I add some um, some hoisin sauce, and then I top it off with a little roasted sesame seeds, guys. I don't know what else to say. This is perfection on the plate. You should try this. It's a very easy meal. You just have to plan a little bit of ahead of time. Guys, I'm not even going to take a bite of this because it's going to get messy. So I'm going to wait until I get, you know, where I can get messy. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications and be on the lookout or go check out Big Tone Reviews where you can purchase any kind of musical equipment. You can purchase any kind of electronic stuff, and you can purchase any kind of uh, kitchen stuff. So it's BigToneReviews.com. You can pick up the, the Copper Chef Pro stuff. You can pick up the, the Copper Chef equipment. You can also pick up the Power Pressure Cooker XL. Hey, it's there. So you can go there and shop. 
by, it's been Amazon tested, so it comes out to you very, very quickly. So guys, go check that out. Also check out Beats and Peace. Hey guys, like, comment, subscribe. This is Big Tone signing off. Peace.